Wish they were maracas. Hey guys, so today I am kicking off the new year with a Dolly Fines video. Um, December was a bit busy for me and my wallet thanked me. So I didn't do a ton of shopping, but I have noticed that I have amassed between eye chips and outfits and stuff, some new fun Dolly stuff that I wanted to share with you. So I've got my lineup of models that I will start with over here. Um, to my right, I've got two dolls here that are wearing eye chips from Doll Angel. Um, this is a shop that's on Etsy, and I met Doll Angel at Puddle a few years ago. She's a very, very talented young lady. She does full custom dolls, um, and then just recently started to do eye chips, and I just love this kind of technicolor look on, uh, on my two dolls here. By the way, this is Bloody Red Hood, who I had no idea was this versatile. Um, she's actually wearing, this is not a shameless plug, but this rainbow coat is um, something that my mom did. And as you know, she's moved to California and I've been trying to get her to do uh, more for her Etsy shop, but as of yet, I can't get her to, to, to start selling again. But love these two eye chips. I think they give, the doll almost like an anime quality, which is really cool. Um, you might remember I did a review of the uh, surprise holiday box um, from the Pull-Up Doll Club and Emmer's Apparel, but this face-up was done by a new artist that I had discovered on um, Etsy. It's Sin Kitazin, and they are located in Thailand, and I just absolutely love the look of their, um, their face-ups. So it's another shop that does full custom um, pull-ups, but you could also commission face-ups. All right, so in front of me here, these adorable Christmas ornaments were done by a friend of mine. She's a very, very talented lady, uh, and she has a shop called Ethereal Muse. Uh, I don't know if she's up on Etsy yet, but she does have an email, but she made these by hand, and I love that they look like uh, pull-up dolls. In fact, I want pull-up dolls that look like this. I think it's got this very cool kind of Victorian feel to them, fabric, very soft, so next year they'll go on my Christmas tree. All right, so to my left here, I've got a couple of adorable dolls. This doll I just named Heidi because, I mean, it's perfect, right? She's got a couple of things I wanted to share with you. Her outfit, the hat, the coat, and this adorable dress was made by Gochi Crafts. Uh, I might have mentioned Gochi Crafts before in a Dolly Finds video, but what's interesting is this is an artist that I've really seen evolve in, the, in skill level, in styles, and I just, I think this is an adorable outfit that would look good on Blythe, on Dal, on your smaller dolls, uh, but also on Pullip. But I wanted to point out the face up on this doll as well. Now this is another artist that I discovered on our Facebook group. She was kind of quietly under the radar doing her own face ups. Uh, her name is Carrie, and I believe her shop is called Carrie Lup, Carrie Lup. Um, but I love the very unique and realistic look of these dolls. I think she does freckles like no one else. So um, yeah, I will put links to all of these uh, and contact information to all of these shops. But um, because she's a newer artist, she's got um, just, there's a little room to grow, but at the same time, already such natural talent. So I think you should check her out. All right, and so on the end here, I've got two dresses on these two lovelies. This is by Lana Boho Dolls. Uh, this is a shop I discovered on Etsy. I think they're located in Russia. These dresses are gorgeous. Now they are a little bit of a higher price point. I believe this dress was around 40 US dollars, but you can just see the detail, uh, the time, the materials that went into this. Um, it just really makes the doll something special. And, and the same thing with this blue dress on the end. I believe this was a little bit cheaper, maybe a little less than 30 US dollars. Love the beautiful little blue um, flower details. And then last but certainly not least, this girl on the end here has a custom face-up done by a shop that I found on Etsy 
snowing creations. Now, I think this is a girl in France who uh, specializes mostly in BJDs. I loved her work. I especially loved, if you can see her super bushy eyebrows, um, I loved her eyebrow work. So I reached out to her and asked her if she did pull-ups and she had done a few. So I think that she's also one, if you're looking for something different, something fresh, uh, she could be a great option for your custom pull-up face up. So that's what I have for you for Dolly Finds today. If you have any questions about any of these shops or you have recommendations for me, I would love to hear them. Talk to you later.